It's time for baseball on MLB Network. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Boston Red Sox. Stepping in, Michael Brasso. He will lead this one off today. A 1 1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Got him to go after a bad one there, and it evens the count at 2 and 2. Now here's the pitch. Temperature pretty seasonable for this time of year. 55 degrees at game time. Now the three and two pitch. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Another one sent foul. He'll try it again, three and two. And he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next will be the right handed hitting Jose Martinez. Two balls and a strike to the Rays' first baseman. Swing and a liner. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. That is third. The third baseman, number two. Into the box, Yandy Diaz. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The one two misses for the second ball. Martinez a runner at first with one gone in the inning. And they're working the outer half here but that one's wide for ball three. We could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at and if not it's ball four anyways. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. That and four. The right fielder. Hunter. Standing in now, Hunter Renfro. Outside, two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Even two and two count to Hunter Renfro. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. The second for one. On to Moreland, and they roll two to end the inning. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. He struck him out. Here now is Rafael Devers. The bases are empty, one man out. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Here's J.D. Martinez. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Ugh, is that ugly? You could probably throw anything out there to this guy. He'd swing at the Raza bag if you throw it up there. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Batting four. The first baseman, Smith. To the plate now, Four Mitch left. Moreland. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Ball bounces and this one gets away. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. And 
and that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Coming to the plate now, Kevin Pillar. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Popped him up. Zanino is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Up next for the Rays, Brandon Lau, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Now at the plate, Willie Adamas. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. A line shot to third base. And it got there so quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settle with just the one out. And that'll bring up Manuel Margot. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. The 1-1 one -one is laid off for ball two. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Yoshi Tsutsugo is on deck. A full count to the Rays center fielder. And it's fouled away. No score here as we play inning number two. On the ground is short. This could be two. He's got it. There's one. On to first. And that's two innings and two double plays they've hit into so far as the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And in to hit next, it'll be the catcher, Kevin Pluecki. The 2-1. Two and two the count. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. So Tugo has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Riding in for Boston, Jonathan Araujo. Jonathan Araujo. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Now a swing, and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Glasnow take charge himself out there, and there's two down. So here now is Jackie Bradley. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. Set and the 1-1 one, one pitch. Two balls, one strike. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Oh, and it's off the foul ball in right for a home run. Blake now, Jose Peraza tried to shoot the corner and he missed it two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate and he'll have another shot at it here. Here's another two two. Red Sox on top in the early going one nothing as we play the second. Line toward the gap in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. The designated hitter, number 99. Alex. Into the box now, Alex Verdugo. Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter.
popped him up. Adamas moving to his left. And that's the third out. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll bring forth the rookie outfielder, Yoshi Tsutsugo. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Nope. Three and one now as that misses down and in. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. So here's Mike Zanino, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Now the three and two pitch is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. To the plate now for the Rays is the D.H. Michael Brasso. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-1 home. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will land untouched. Runner at first here, one man out. To two balls and two strikes now. Fouled off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Grounded back up the middle. One there. The first, and they've grounded into double plays now in three successive innings as the side is retired. Bottom of the third now, and that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Here's the one and one delivery. Right side, defense aligned perfectly. Reined in. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez, a base hit in his first trip. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Tries to get him to chase the curve ball away, but it breaks outside. Two and two now. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curve ball that starts in the zone and breaks now just out. Just a great take baseman. by the batter. So he notched the backwards K on that oh, one. Man. J.D. Martinez becomes out number two this inning. The 1-1 one, one home, and he fouls this one off. The one two. I got the kill. Two, and two. two out, nobody on. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. So now to the plate, Kevin Pillar. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. Now this one's crushed. Left field line, and it's a foul ball. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now the pitch. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Here now the two-two. 
Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. Margot will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Riding in once again, Jose Martinez, as we begin the top of the fourth. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth innings. And the knuckle curved that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. The third base. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. Now the one and one pitch. Ball, Skied into straightaway right. Pilar is underneath this one. And there's the second out of the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter, Hunter Renfro. Hunter Renfro. The 1-1. One, one. Misses ball two. One strike. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Now the three and two pitch. And that one misses. It's ball four. So a two-out walk gives the Rays some hope here in the inning. How about it? Number so eight. next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Brandon Lau. Man at first after the two-out walk. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next to hit is the catcher, Kevin Ploiecki. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Well, that's a well outside with the curveball for a ball. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Three and one to him now. Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Next up for the Red Sox, Jonathan Arauz. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. So base is empty now after the double play. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. The last at bat, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Riding in, Willie Adamas. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1-1. One, one. Swung on and missed for strike number 2. There's a well-hit ball out to right center field. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he's not stopping. He wants 3. And he'll make it in there safely as he starts out the fifth with a leadoff triple. Number 71 gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. At the plate, Manuel Margo. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Fouled away. Ball.
Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Boy, that was an awfully close pitch right there. I know if I'm on the mound, I want that pitch called a strike. That's one of those that could go either way. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Hit sharply toward the right side. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. The left fielder, number 25, Yoshi. In now, Yoshi Tsutsugo. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Here now is Mike Zanino. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. The 1-1 one, one home. Pitch outside. The throw. Perfect throw, and they got him at second. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. Now batting, designated hitter, Michael Brasso. To the plate now, Michael Brasso. Two and one to the Rays leadoff batter. Fastball taken high, and it's three and one now. And it's fouled away. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Jose Martino. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and digging into bat next, it'll be Jose Peraza. The 3-2 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Margo's under it. One down. So the Red Sox lineup turns over and to the plate. Alex Verdugo. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Now two back. away. Rafael Devers the next to bat. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. 2-1 pitch is a fastball swung on and missed 2-2. Two and two. Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have three, four, five do up to start the next inning. Three and two, the count for Rafael Devers. Count remains full.
hit down the line at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Ryan Brazier takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 70, Ryan. New inning set to get underway, and set to go is the third baseman, Yandy Diaz. The two and one on its way. Now here's a swing and a high pop-up, drifting into shallow right field. Arauz backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Now, that, now at the plate, Hunter Renfro. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's the pitch. Low scoring game thus far, two to one here in the sixth. All even now, two and two. Swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact yeah, with. Number eight. Ready once again, Brandon Lau. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. And it's one and two. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Pulled toward right center field. Bradley is there. And that retires the side. Anthony Banda enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 53, Anthony. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and standing in the outfielder, J.D. Martinez. The 1-1 home. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and this will find its way into center field for a leadoff single. Now that. At the plate now, Mitch Moreland. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. And a little tapper here in front of the mound as this may work as a sacrifice. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Kevin Pillar. Two and one, the count of Pillar. And he lays off again, ball three. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers fall behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And I don't think that's what he wanted to do as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Kevin. Now batting, Kevin oh, Ploiecki. Right it was a walk in his last trip. Chopped at the plate. He takes it to the plate. There's one. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. So stepping in, Jonathan Arauz. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. And he misses two and one. Two balls, one strike, the count. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Lau is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Striding in, Willie Adamas. He tripled earlier, making him one for two in the ball game. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Now a ball pulled hard, but fouled off to the left. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count, heater caught too much of the zone. 
Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Ready for another chance? Manuel Margot. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Two strikes. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Into the box, Yoshi Tsutsugo. And he missed with it, ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Osich has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. And another foul ball. Now a fastball inside and he works it back to a full count now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. Fouled off. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Now Striding forward now is the DH, Michael Brasso, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And he popped him up, and the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So coming to the plate, Jackie Bradley Jr. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. The 1-1 home. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Right fielder is on the run, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Stepping into the box, Jose Peraza. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Full count to Jose Peraza. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Now the Red Sox D.H., Alex Verdugo. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Change up. Call to strike, and he comes back even at two and two. And now pitch on the way. Still even at two and two. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. And he fouls this one off. Three balls and two strikes to the DH for the Red Sox. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now batting, third baseman, Rafael Devers. Into the box now, Rafael Devers. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Swing and a liner. And that'll make him one for four in this one. Peter Fairbanks trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. He 
at the plate, J.D. Martinez. A ball and two strikes now. One two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. He really needs to find a pitch to put this guy away with right here, right now. He can't allow this inning to get any worse than it's already become. Slap hard the opposite way. That's in there. Base hit. And he will beat the tag. Safe at the plate. Now back. The first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Standing in now, Mitch Moreland. Hit sharply on the ground. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Wait, Matt Barnes has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 32. Leading off the inning, Jose Martinez, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Digging in, Yandy Diaz. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. swing just a little early and he'll see another payoff pitch seventh pitch of the at bat coming up curveball but a good job to lay off and he works out the free pass so a runner at first now with one away and that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro now the one and one pitch is looked at for ball number two and think about it in game one of this series they've already had to go deep into their bullpen this could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching to second for one on the first it's a double play as their woes continue the inning is over at the plate Kevin Pillar it was a walk in his last trip Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Going back is the left fielder, and it's gone into the monster seats. To the plate now, Kevin Ploiecki. The 1-2 offering looked like a slider that time, but it's 2-2. Two two. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Yeah, you ain't kidding, Matty. Dan, what does this feel like when balls are just flying out of the yard? Hero, it's just one of those days when you're out there as a pitcher going, oh, I wish I was somewhere anywhere else but on that bump right now. This has the makings of being a long game. Up next for the Red Sox. Got him swinging the on the fastball base. there. Kevin Ploiecki is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Four runs, nine hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Right fielder coming on. Lays out, and he's got it. A great play for out number two. Stepping up now, Jackie Bradley Jr. He flew out in his last at bat. Now the one and one pitch. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Fouled away. A 
And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Popped him up. Diaz in foul ground. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Brandon Workman comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Brandon. All set to start the ninth in this one, and standing in is the power-hitting second baseman, Brandon Lau. They look like they're up against it here, down three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. Two and one to count. Pitch on the way. There's a fastball well off the plate inside. Willie Adamas waits on deck. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Digging in, Willie Adamas. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And there's ball two now. One out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. High in the air out to center field. Bradley is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. So striding forward now, Manuel Margot. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. No dice on the knuckle curve that time. Three and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Now this crowd of 36,000-plus come to their feet. Fastball too low, and that's ball four. Digging in once again, Yoshi Tsutsugo. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two-out walk. Always considered a big no-no, of course. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Smoked on the ground up the middle. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. Austin Meadows will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Ball will be chopped foul. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Wow, what a week for these guys. Talk about firing on all cylinders. Winners of an amazing seven games in a row. They say to never question the streak, and these guys aren't. They're just enjoying this ride. And the score finishes 4-1 to one today. Boston took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Number 71 claims the win out of the pen his first. Brandon Workman wraps it up for the save his fourth of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.